migrants transfer, known as remittances, have a reducing impact on poverty through their effect on investment in human capital or reducing income inequalities or improving consumption for household. However, we know much less about the relationship between natural disasters, poverty reduction and remittances in the context of poor countries. We look at a sample of 52 developing countries from 1984 to 2010. We can focus on um, country level data and most of the studies have been made using household level data. We find that remittances help decrease poverty in countries, in developing countries which experience natural disasters. More precisely, we find that the reducing effect of remittances on poverty is even stronger when poor countries experience natural disasters. There are three types of disasters that drive our results, and those disasters are storms, hurricane, and extreme temperature events. As conclusion and policy recommendation, our results show that private mechanisms such as migrants transfer and remittances are very important to help countries build resilience to shocks. Ex ante, which means before the shocks, but also ex post, which means after the shocks. It's also very important that countries have a combination of public mechanism and private mechanism. Because although remittances arrive in countries, they go to a certain group of people, probably those who have migrants in their household. So it's important for people who do not receive remittances to also benefit from public intervention to avoid some inequality issues when shocks happen between those who receive remittances and those who don't.